Welcome back. We're here to talk about Saturday's Premier League match between Southampton and West Brom. A loss for Southampton, but they look decent. Yeah, they played really well, didn't they? I mean, they deserved to lose the game. Is it did they had chances as well, didn't they? They come a bit of a feeder club to Liverpool, haven't they? Selling their players, they made a lot of money in the transfer market. Bought players in. I thought they were really good, especially James Ward-Prowse. I think he's a fantastic. He's an exceptionally gifted young man. You know, he's very, very good on the ball. He could be the next one coming through. Hopefully, they can keep players like that because they've still got a lot of good players. And how about West Brom? They drew on the opening day. Yeah, I think that was a good result for them. I, mean, I, I quite fancy Sunderland to win that game. And West Brom, I, mean, I know they went ahead and then uh, lost the game in the end. But I think 2-2, two, two, that would be an OK start for Irving. And I mean, a lot of people are doubting whether he's the right man to lead West Brom now. But I think, you know, that's a good start for him. And hopefully they can go and get results Southampton. Now. I think Southampton, they'll go in quite positively despite losing to Liverpool. I mean, I saw predictions before the season tipping them to be relegated. I don't yeah. think they'll be anywhere near that. They look good. They've lost so many key players. But Coman's brought in some players. They look quite... Decent, Pele looked quite good. Yeah. Um, I think the future looks quite bright for them still. I think it's important they get off to a, a, get a win on the ball, didn't they? Obviously, new manager, new players is so important. Confidence is so much, isn't it? If they get a win, which I think they will, it sort of just kick-started one, doesn't it? Make it one. I mean, you were saying about Ward Prowse, I think West Brom, they've got a really key player in Berahino. I mean, yeah. he scored both their goals the weekend and he's already he's doing well for England under 21s as well. And he might be looking to have a real breakout year and maybe challenge to get into the England team. And what, do you think he'll be a key player in this match if West Brom wants to get something out of it? I think he definitely will. They've got that record signing who's still, still to come back. But I think Berahino for the moment, he looks like the number one option up front, definitely. And how about Southampton? Who do you think they will be their key player? I think it's going to be Wall Prowse again. I mean, Stephen Davis, he doesn't usually get a lot of, does he? But I think he's a really good player in there. They've got good midfielders. Was it new signing? Was it Tadic? New yeah. signing? He was very good as well. But I still think they need probably a centre forward. Jay Rodriguez is obviously a massive miss. What is he going to be out until the new year, yeah. isn't it? So, yeah. But uh, there's goals in that team. How about score prediction? Uh, I think 2-1 two, two, Southampton. I think they'll win. That's good. 2-0 uh, Southampton. I'm going to go for 2-1 Southampton as well, so we're going for Southampton victories.